If you're a fan of JRPGs, I've got a flashy little title to talk about. It's called Relayer, and it's got on the radar again because they've just released a brand new video. Anyway, it's made by, and I apologize for butchering the name, Kadokawa Games, and this is all the details that I could dig up on the game so far. So there are four classes inside the game. You've got Assault, you've got Tank, you've got Sniper, and you've got Scout. And then from there, basically, each of the classes can learn five jobs, all divided into three stages, and each of the classes have different jobs that they're going to need to learn. You have things called job groups and they're basically divided into what's known as beginner, intermediate and veteran stages with variety of difficulties. And the progression is fairly simple, is that when you've unlocked all of the abilities and say beginner, then you move on and you can upgrade it to intermediate. And each of these choices as well are also a branch. So once you finish beginner, you'll get two choices for intermediate and so on for veteran. So each of these abilities, they come with an active and a passive trait. Active is what you use in battle and passive is what you have in play all the time in the background. And to give you some examples, so basically if you're in an assault mech, then you get to use an ability called backstab when you've got a melee weapon and their basic job is fighter. From there they can go into an intermediate tree so they can go into vanguard and then braver or alternatively you can go off and do shinobi and then ninja with a vanguard emphasizing firepower and then shinobis emphasizing basically avoidance and agility and defense for example. The Vanguard is what you would probably call a tank in RPG sense. They have a, something called Hate, which is basically acts like aggro. They get increased attack power and additionally they get increased defense power. So you remember the Shinobis that we talked about? When they attack, they get to recover a small portion of HP. And alongside that, they also get additional defense, which means not only do they get to do a lot of damage, but they also have an extreme amount of survivability. Now, the ninja, which is a step on from the shinobi, basically gets to specialize in lowering their aggro or hate. And this basically means that you can get around to the back of enemies without being aggroed and do massive damage. There's also additional tank classes as well. There's the knight, which gets to evolve into a paladin and then guardian, or alternatively, you can go into a commander and then a breaker. Paladins, as you probably guessed it, have great survival. They can self buff and they've got a whole host of recovery skills. They can also increase their own aggro or hate and also increase their defense. So it's kind of like that perfect mech that you want all the aggro to be on so your shinobis and ninjas can go around the back and do massive damage. Guardian, which is the evolution of Paladin, basically to, gets to produce massive amounts of hate, so they get to act as really, really good decoys. They also have, again, like the Shinobi, HP recover abilities and can also buff other characters with defense abilities. Now, the alternative branch, which is the commander, has a similar sort of a set of abilities, but is more like a buffer, I guess is the best way to describe it because not only can they increase the defense of their allies, but they've got something a little bit different is that they can actually draw hate from other things onto themselves. And additionally, they can also increase the hit rate of their allies and also the amount of avoidance or dodge that they have. Now, the breaker is a bit like a control mech. It does lots of debuffs, so it's actually really useful. It can reduce the attack of its opponents. It can also reduce the defense of its opponents. And the real upside for this class as well is that while they're debuffing everything else, they can actually increase their own attack. So moving on to the more DPS orientated mechs that are also in the game, we have the Sniper Mecha, which has not only a special ability called Overkill, which you can basically use when certain conditions are met, but you've also got its base job, which is Shooter. And their tree is basically the following. So they can evolve into Backs and then Marksman, or they can go down the Gunner tree and then into the Ace Shooters. Backs are essentially a healing class which can then buff enemies as well and Marksman is for weakening enemies, debuffing again and putting on abnormal conditions. Now in the gunner tree basically you get to buff your own attack power, increase your own hit rate and increase your evasion which are all things you want when you are like more DPS orientated mech. Now, the Ace Shooter, which is the evolution from this, basically has abilities to manipulate their own hate control and avoidance, but they also get abilities that basically increase their hit and evasion and makes them really well suited for frontline fighting. Now, the last group of mechas are the Scout Mechas, so these kind of more focus on making decoys, avoiding obstacles, and also getting to enemies like fairly easily. They have a basic job called Wizard and they can go into two trees. So you've got Enchanter into Wiseman or you've got Jammer then into Trickster. 
Enchanters again are another buffing specializing class. They focus on recovery and also recovering the amount of action points that your allies have. Wisemen, however, they do the opposite. They're all about weakening enemies with debuffs, putting on, again, abnormal status effects. And they also have stalling abilities. Now, I'm not sure if this is a stun, but they can basically stall an enemy and then they can also lower the defense of your enemies. The last two, we've got Jammer and Trickster. Jammer, again, is all about debuffing enemies and putting abnormal effects on them. Additionally, they can also weaken enemies from range. And these include basically lowering their block and also, which is really useful, lowering their movement speed. Now, as for Tricksters, it's basically like the Jammer, but with more stuff. So they can reduce the stats on the enemies. They can also put more abnormal statuses on the enemies and just basically loads of different things that are going to really hinder your opponent and slow them down and give your DPS and tanky classes more of an advantage. Anyway, that's all the classes, but I've got to say, just look at the trailer. The gameplay footage looks absolutely awesome. If you are a big fan of the mecha genres, then I feel that you're going to absolutely love this. I don't think I've ever seen a game quite like this before, and I certainly haven't played one. I mean, I've played MechWarrior in the past, but it just doesn't really have that same feel that this is creating. If you're waiting to play it, it is coming out on the PS5 and PS4. It's going to be launching on February the 17th in 2022. Anyway, that's pretty much it for right now. I hope you like this video. I'll be back with more on this when it gets released. But for now, have a great week and I'll speak to you all soon.